Each year they play the annual high school all-star baseball games in Chaska. That is a tradition. And this past year, there was a very special all-star. The Minnesota High School All-Star Baseball Series has been played for 48 years, most in the early years at the old Midway Stadium. In 1989, they moved to Chaska, a baseball masterpiece when the rivers don't turn it into floodplains. No one understands it more than an all-star from Chaska. It's just amazing, like just the view, like looking out there, and it's nice when it's like sunsets coming down, and I mean the bugs are bad, but still fun to play. <laughs> they keep standing scrapbooks of players who eventually landed in the big leagues. Matt Walner of uh, Minnesota Twins. Um, Max Meyer, who was the number three overall draft pick of the Marlins. Um, Jake Irvin from Bloomington. Um, you have uh, uh, Varlins uh, have been in this. The caliber of baseball in Minnesota no longer goes unnoticed. They dot the rosters of colleges across the country. They're coached very well. They know the game and they see a body, maybe 6'3", 6 6'4", 6 6 and they're like, yeah, I can do something with that. And they're, Minnesota's a hotbed for recruiting right now. I'll pick you up, I'll pick a baby a couple out. But this all-star game has another yeah, all-star yeah, who will not play collegiately baseball. or this weekend. Yeah, it's so full baseball, so fun times, right? See, J.J. Fredericks it's is the bat boy. He do really good, see? I do, um, I help my team out for yep. sure. They Play games, play really good. JJ became Shakopee's team bad boy, and really teammate, because he is one of them. And he's enjoyed his own athletic career. 12 letters in adaptive sports. Super proud of that boy. Just everything he's accomplished uh, over the last few years. Just he's got a big personality, loves to be amongst the players. Uh, the coaches have embraced him. At this ballpark, in his final high school appearance, he is where he wants to be. Uh, baseball is so fun for me. I hold my team out. It's so fun. It makes me happy. You and be ready outside. He will do his job one more time, and that means much. You can't get mad at the umpire. Yeah, no, man. No. You, you, you never get mad at the umpire. I never get mad. Never, I never right? get mad. Because he's got a job to do, right? He got a job to do. Yep. And this weekend, JJ caps a remarkable high school career by being a part of a team. Baseball's been a part of his life with his brother growing up playing for Shakopee and uh, he just he loves the game, loves to be part of it. You great dude. Yeah, thank you. Be have fun, be happy. He will do it the way he's always done it. Stay focused. Stay focused. And have fun yep. for have sure. Fun. And stay positive. Stay positive. Yes. They are twins that have seen much in their lives and they will forever be bonded as siblings and by basketball. They were born the same day, twins and active. Those are good days. Life was very simple. All we did, we were actually more of baseball guys, I think. Mm -hmm. we, were, we were really focused on baseball back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. happened? Oh, man. We grew, grew, growth we grew four inches in one summer. Growth spurt. Yeah. <laughs> one summer. But basketball did not always yeah, like them. Like we actually got yeah. cut our first year, but the next year we came back and uh, we really enjoyed it playing for the team. Eventually they changed and it changed, blossoming into prospects with high-end potential and high-end goals. There you go. You got that one. Yeah, I really want to go Division One, but NBA, G League, overseas, it really doesn't matter to me. I just want to say that I've played professional basketball. But this is not a fairy tale of happily ever after. Without going into detail, their lives have been filled with challenges that most do not face. Times have not been easy at all, and I've always been with my brother this whole time. We talk through things, we go play basketball, get our mind off things. Everything we do is for each other's benefit, and it's helped me so much. I really don't think I really would need anybody else except for him. And this is about leaning on each other because sometimes that's all they had. He's always someone I can go to no matter what. We can talk about anything. There isn't anything we don't share with each other. We can always talk to each other. It feels great having someone you can just just release everything about. Life's been hard and you just always have someone to play with. And in the middle of it has been basketball. Hey! Break the rim. This has become their refuge. Hey! Without self-pity, but with reality. You can have help along the way, but in the end of the day, it's how, mu how, how much we want it how much we want to succeed and make it in life because life isn't going to wait for us. They are each other's best friends and best competition. Do you two always get along? Not always. No. Not, not for 1v1. They are on an AAU circuit, part of a program that demands discipline, something they are keenly aware they need. 
Uh, it means a lot, playing with a lot of people who know how to win and know what it takes to win. Uh, it's really making me better, and the people around me just are very competitive. Because the two boys want to maintain their unbreakable bond that started before they were even aware and have learned the hard lessons of life. In reality, nobody really cares as much as you think they do. I got it. You just I have to it. keep okay. excelling at what like you're where? doing. And in part because of basketball, that bond is bigger. It's a brotherhood. You, you got his back, right? He's got my back. Of course. He's got my back.